Hi, we are Group 8 of 5 ECEV and we are here to demonstrate the digital clock timer and stopwatch project using the one Artera. Okay, so first we will initialize the clock. We will set the initial time to 12 o'clock. So switch 7, 8 and 6 are up and the kit um, displays the R minute format at the four segment displays. Key 2 will be used to as an up button for the R setting while key 1 will be used as up button for the minute setting and key 0 as down button for the minute setting. So we will um, set the time to 12 o'clock. So now we will set the time period. When both switch 8 and switch 7 are up and switch 6 is down, we can vary the time period using key 3. As you can see, hex 0 displays either letter A 4 a.m. or P 4 p.m. The other 7 segment displays are off. When AM is set, LED R9 is off and when PM is set, LED R9 is on. So we will test this by setting 11.59 a.m. and we'll wait for the transition to 12 p.m. Now we will set the date for today. When both switch 8 and switch 6 are up and switch 7 is down, we can set the initial year. The default display is 2000 and for the hex 3, we will not be able to alter it as I press key 3. Key 2, key 1, and key 0 can be used as up buttons for the hex 2, hex 1, and hex 0. So the date for today, I for the day, the year is 2017. Okay, for the date, when both switch 7 and switch 6 are down and switch 8 is up, we can set the initial month and day. Hex 3 and hex 2 displays the month setting and key 3 and key 2 as up down buttons. Hex 1 and Hex 0 will display the date setting and Key 1 and Key 0 as up-down buttons for the date of the month. So today is December 6. The default display shown is um, 0101. We will set it to December 6. When switch 8, 7 and 6 are all in down positions, the clock starts to function. So we will now set the time zone. When switch 7, switch 6 are up and switch 8 is down, we can set the time zone or GMT. Hex 3, Hex 2, and Hex 1 display the city codes and when key 3 is pressed, we can select another city. So now we will choose the Philippine time zone. Hi! So now Matt will explain how to use this project in setting the alarm. Hi, I am Matt Cruz and I am going to demonstrate next on how to set the alarm time. When toggle switch is 8 and toggle switch 6 is down and switch 7 is off, the alarm time can be adjusted. So we can see here that the default alarm time is at 0000, 000 or 12 o'clock p.m. wherein the time format shown is in hours minutes setting. To set the desired alarm time, key 2 is pressed to increase the hour setting by 1. The limit is from 00 to 23. Now we set the 
our time to dwell. Q1 is used as an up button, uh, while Q0 is used as a down button. To adjust the minute setting by 1 minute, wherein the range of the minute setting is from 0 to 0 to 59, then we set the minute time to 1. There is no need to indicate whether the alarm time is in AM or PM since the alarm setting is set to military time. After setting the alarm time, the snooze time can also be adjusted. This is done by setting the toggle switches 8 and 7 to down and switch 6 to up. The default display is at 5 minutes as shown here in the PCD segments. To set the desired snooze time, key 3 is pressed as an up button and key 2 as the down button. For the minute setting, the minute setting can be adjusted from 00 to 99 and now we set the minute time to 1. On the other hand, Q1 is pressed as an up button and Q0 as the down button for the second setting. The second setting has a range of 00 to 59. Now we set the second setting to 10. That ends the clock initialization. Set the toggle switches 8, 7, and 6 to down to indicate that the initialization is now finished. Now we can see the clock display using different setup of the toggle switches 1 and 0. This switches also determine the output display of the 7 segment modules. When both toggle switches 1 and 0 are down, the time display will be shown. We can see here that by default, that is, if no push button keys are pressed, the time display is shown in hours and minutes format using the military time set. When key 3 is pressed, the 7 segment modules will show the time in hours and minutes using the 12 hour display. When key 2 is pressed, the time display will be in minutes seconds format. When key 1 is pressed, hex 0 displays A for AM and P for PM. In this case, the time is set to PM thus represented by uppercase letter P. In addition, LED 9 will light up if the time setup is at PM. Otherwise, AM will remain off. We can see here that LED lights light up since the time is in PM. LED 9 lights up or not depending on the time period regardless whether the time is in military or 12 hour format. So that ends my demonstration. For the next part of clock display functions, it will be further discussed in the next segments. I will now discuss the next three features of the clock display after initialization. This segment discusses the date display feature of the project. We can see here that setting switch 1's status to down and switch 0 to up will display the month and the date of the set date. Pressing key 3 will display the year. To execute the world time display feature, we need to invert the status of switch 1 and switch 0 to up and down respectively. The default time zone is the Philippines, which has a GMT differential of plus 8. Pressing key 3 will display the New York City time, which has a GMT differential of negative 5. Pressing key 2 will display the Rio de Janeiro, Brazil time, which has a GMT differential of negative 3. Pressing key 1 will display the Lisbon, Portugal time, which has a no GMT differential. Pressing key 0 will display the Sydney, Australia time, which has a GMT differential of plus 10. I will now display the stopwatch and countdown timer feature of the project. When both switch 1 and switch 0 are up, the stopwatch or timer countdown feature can be accessed depending on the status of the two other switches, namely switch, switch 3 and switch 2. If the status of both switches are 1, the kit will function as a stopwatch. Uh, pressing key 3 will pause the stopwatch and pressing key 3 again will resume the, stop, uh, the stopwatch. Pressing key, key 0 will 
clear the stopwatch. If the status of switch 3 is 1 or switch 2 is 0, the kit can be used as a countdown timer. To set the initial time for the countdown timer, toggle switch, switch 4 must be set at a high logic level. Key 3 can be used as an up button while key 2 can be used as a down button. For the minute setting, key 1 can be used as an up button while key 0 can be used as a down button for the second setting. If, the swi if switch 5 is up, the countdown begins. I am Erin Niharas and I will discuss the remaining clock functions, which are the alarm, the snooze, and the master reset. Both the alarm and the snooze time could be set by the user. Upon normal clock operation, the user may opt to have the alarm off by setting both switches 2 and 3 to low. If they wish to activate the alarm, switch 3 should be set to low while switch 2 to high. When the set alarm is reached, all the green LEDs blink at a half second interval which would last 1 minute if not turned off. There are two options to turn off the alarm. One is to thoroughly deactivate it by pressing key 2, while the other is temporarily deactivating it by pressing key 1. Note that temporarily means the alarm would go off again after the set snooze time interval is reached. In this case, after 10 seconds, the alarm would go off again. Finally, when the user wants to restore the default settings of the clock, they would have to simply set the master reset switch 9 to high. This would turn all the present displays off and restore the initial values when set to low again.